Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shrinkskart! Adiorinir Sagarid! Drach! Now, King Alad Scully asked. Understood. Uh -huh. 
Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Bloody do it then! Oh, 
wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! You think any of these animals care? I need you here! Now that that's done... I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we turn into Pandora. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out.
Hugo dear, my proud desert life. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Aye? His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. further now. But well, we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Oh, 
Home sweet home. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. We must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequois Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? 
I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bother me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Krieger to our holy bedchamber, for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. I suppose I should thank Goots. gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there.
You, blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make him comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself?